Hello everyone. In this video, we will solve a few practice sums using all the laws of exponents which we have learned. Here is the first one. Using laws of exponents, simplify and write the answer in the exponential form. If you see here, the base is same. So we are going to use like base rule. So in the like base rule, in the answer, base remains same. And the powers, because it is multiplication, powers get added. And that gives us 3 raised to 14. Here, if you see, again, the base is same, which means like base rule, the base in the answer remains same. It is division, so the powers get subtracted. So, 15 minus 10. And answer would be 6 raised to 5. Let's look here. Again, the base is same irrespective of whether it is number or a letter because the letter alphabet here is also a number. Only thing that we don't know the which number it means. So, we'll treat it as the number. So, base is same. So, base remains same in the answer also. And powers, because it is multiplication, power gets added. 3 plus 2. So, it is a raised to 5. Here again, if you see, it is base same. So, answers base remains same. Again, powers will get added, irrespective of whether it is a alphabet or number. They will get added because it is a multiplication. So, it will be x plus 2, 7 raised to x plus 2. In this, if you see, 5 raised to 2 whole raised to 3. So, this will be base remains 5 and powers get multiplied 2 into 3 divided by 5 raised to 3. So, that is 5 raised to 6 divided by 5 raised to 3. Now, here base are same. So, in answer the base remains same. It is division. So, powers will get subtracted 6 minus 3 and answer is 5 raised to 3. Here, like base, the base remains same in the answer. Division, so powers get subtracted. So, t minus 2. Let's do the next one. Let's simplify this using the rules. Now, here, whenever we have such kind of things, 2, 3, 4, look for the prime numbers. Now, 4 here. 4, I can represent as 2 raised to 2, 2 the square. Same with 32, I can represent it as 2 raised to 5. 2 raised to 5 is 32. So, we will first change that. And now, we know it is 2 raised to 3 multiplied by 2 raised to 2. So, that will become 3 plus 2, 5. 2 raised to 5 here. Into 3 raised to 4 upon 2 raised to 5 into 3. This 2 raised to 5 and 2 raised to 5 will get cancelled. And so it is 3 raised to 4 upon 3. And only 3 is same as 3 raised to 1. So it will be 3 raised to 4 minus 1. Because it is division. Base same. Answers base remains same. And because it is division, powers get subtracted. So, answer is 3 raised to 3. Let's do here. 25 raised to 4 divided by 5 raised to 3. Now, we can see that 25 is actually square of 5. So, it is 5 square whole raised to 4 divided by 5 raised to 3. 5 raised to 2 whole raised to 4. That is same as 5 raised to 2 into 4. We know the rule a raised to m whole raised to n is a raised to m into n. 2 into 4 divided by 5 raised to 3. 5 raised to 8 divided by 5 raised to 3. Now, again, same base. So, the answers base remains same. Division, so powers get 
subtracted 8 minus 3 and answer gets 5 raised to 5 here this type of sums can be represented as 2 raised to 8 upon 4 raised to 3 multiplied by a raised to 5 upon a raised to 3 so i have you know separated the terms which have same base now you'll say why 4 is not doesn't 4 is not as same as 2 but 4 can be represented as square of 2 so this will be 2 raised to 8 upon 2 raised to 2 whole raised to 3 4 is square of 2 here a raised to 5 divided by a raised to 3 means a raised to 5 minus 3 so here it becomes 2 raised to 8 upon 2 raised to 2 into 3 2 raised to 6 into a square again here we see 2 raised to 8 divided by 2 raised to 6 means base will remain same power subtraction 8 minus 6 is 2 now here we see same power when we have same power in the answer we multiply the bases 2 into a is 2a raised to power remains same so our answer will be 2a raised to 2 so please understand that 4 8 32 they are all 2's powers 3 9 27 81 they are all 3's powers so we need to look at them and we need to convert them into base as 2 and once we get the base as 2 we will be able to cancel out lots of things we'll do uh, some more and then we'll understand there now here we again see that there is a combination so what we'll do is we will convert them into numbers which are having same base into a raised to 8 upon a raised to 5 into b cube upon b square now it is very easy these get cancelled because they are same 4 raised to 5 4 raised to 5 a raised to 8 divided by a raised to 5 same base so base in the answer remains same and subtraction of the powers 8 minus 5 into here b b raised to 3 divided by b raised to 2 same base answers base remains same powers get subtracted because it is a division answer is a cube into we don't write multiplication b raised to 1 or b b raised to 1 is same as b let me write 1 here that's fine that is our answer now here first 2 raised to 5 raised to 2 that means it is 2 raised to 5 into 2 into 7 raised to 3 upon 8 raised to 3 8 raised to 3 is same as 2 raised to 3 that is 8 raised to 3 8 is written as 2 raised to 3 into 7 now it will be 2 raised to 10 upon 2 raised to 3 into 3 is 9 2 raised to 9 into 7 raised to 3 upon 7 so 2 raised to 10 divided by 2 raised to 9 base same answers base same 10 minus 9 which is 1 so 2 raised to 1 into here 7 because base is same so answers base remains same 7 raised to 3 minus 1 because it's division so 3 minus 1 2 into 7 square the last one 25 can be written as 5 square into 5 square into t raised to 8 10 can be written as 2 into 5 I will write the prime factors so whole raised to 3 into t raised to 4 so that is equal to 5 raised to 2 plus 2 multiplication means addition of powers same base 
into t raised to 8 upon 2 raised to 3 into 5 raised to 3 into t raised to 4. Now I will separate them. So it will be 1 upon 2 raised to 3 multiplied by 5 raised to 4 upon 5 raised to 3 multiplied by t raised to 8 upon t raised to 4. And now we see that same base and division. And here 1 upon 2 raised to 3 and that is same as 2 raised to minus 3. Remember the rule? a raised to minus 3 is equal to 1 upon a raised to 3. So we have 1 upon 2 raised to 3 same as 2 raised to minus 3 into 5 raised to 4 divided by 5 raised to 3. So it will be 4 minus 3 is 1 into t raised to 8 upon t raised to 4. So 8 minus 4 is 4 t raised to 4. So that's our answer. I am sure you have liked the video. Hit the like button and leave your views in the comment section below. Do watch our other videos on this topic. Subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications whenever we upload new videos. You may also download the QTube app at the link provided in the video description. Till we meet again, goodbye.